Welcome to the Cosmic Business Breakthrough Podcast. I'm your host, Sophia Palace, and this podcast is for soulful entrepreneurs who want to harness the cosmic power of astrology to elevate their message, unlock flow, and attract their best clients ever. Join me every week and get excited to discover how you can use the energy of the cosmos to get the business breakthrough you've been waiting for. Okay, as we ease into this new year, that is 2023, I wanted to talk about how to build more self-trust into your business this year, because it feels like 2023 is going to have a pretty decent focus on coming back to our own personal power. And for the past couple of years, I think we've been in this process of rebuilding our inner authority. And now as we step into this new exciting space that is 2023, it seems like a good time to talk about self-trust in business. And I've been in online business for six years now, and I can say that one of the most challenging things to do is to learn to build self-trust. Because when you're working for someone else, you can trust in your abilities, but you don't necessarily need to trust in yourself to keep your company or your business afloat. You trust in your employer to do that, right? It's a whole new experience when you go into business for yourself to learn that process of self-trust. And for me, there has been a lot of trial and error, but astrology has been a tool that I come back to time and time again to help me build more and more trust in myself and my cycles in business in general. And because of my background as a launch copywriter and a marketer, I have worked with dozens of really successful online entrepreneurs, people who are making six and seven figures every year. And Every one of those people gets wobbly. Trust me, no matter how much money you are making, when you're in business for yourself, the wobbles will happen. And that's totally okay because it's how you deal with that that counts. And the reason that I haven't thrown in the towel in the past six years and those other entrepreneurs that I work with haven't is because we've learned how to deal with those wobbles and Obviously, astrology is one of the key ways that I do that. So I want to give you three ways I use astrology to build more self-trust in my business. So as I've said before, it's not possible to be racing forward at 100 miles an hour all the time, even though many of my Aries clients would love to be able to do this. You have to embrace the times of rest so that you can move forward effectively when the opportunity arises. And astrology gives us the understanding that things unravel or unveil themselves in their own time. You can't rush through everything. And the nature of some of those transits we we experience, particularly in midlife, around our mid-30s to mid-40s, are supposed to be fully and completely experienced because they're there to help make us stronger, more capable, more resilient, and more wise. So self-trust is all about building that belief in yourself that no matter what happens, you've got this, right? And that means that even when things are slower or you know, the clients aren't coming through as fast as you would like, or the sales aren't coming through as fast as you would like, or that launch isn't going so well, or your energy is low, that you still have the confidence that you have what it takes to keep your business afloat, that you still have what it takes to keep going. And astrology helps you to understand your present moment, right? Because it's not just about predicting the future. In fact, that's only a really small part of what astrology does. What it's reminding you of all the time when you're tapped into it is of what cycle of life you're in. And it doesn't say you can't run a business because your energy is low or you can't make a lot of sales on this launch because of this transit. That's not what astrology is about. What it is about is reminding you of the internal changes you may be going through at those particular times and 
what that might look like for you. So what I love about it is that I can go, okay, well, say I'm going through a lovely Jupiter transit. How do I make the most of that? How do I trust that I'm going to be able to, you know, really kick some goals in that time? And if I'm going through a difficult Saturn transit, that really brings you into self-trust because it's like, okay, this is here to strengthen me. These obstacles, these boundaries, these these challenges are here to help strengthen me and my business. This is not a sign that I should shut shop. This is a sign that I am evolving in my business journey and I trust that I'm going to work this out. Do you want to know how to work with the astrological energy to plan for success in your business in 2023? Well, I have the perfect workshop for you. The link is in the show notes of this episode. I go through all of the transits that I talk about in my forecast episode, but in a much more detail. And I will show you, walk you through how to apply these planetary movements in your own chart for more business success. We talk about working with the phases of the moon. We talk about where these planet changes are happening for you and how to make the most of those opportunities. So check out that workshop. It is available on my website. It's very low cost. Get in there and plan for your success in 2023. So that's part of what I really love about astrology and some examples of when the wobbles got pretty bad for me and I had to lean into these tools even more were, for example, in 2020, We went through COVID, my dad got really sick and I was going through a real process of self-discovery that year. And as I was leaning more and more into astrology, I recognized some of the big transits that I was going through and it allowed me just to step back and be okay with that process that was happening because I knew that that was an important thing for me to kind of recalibrate myself through and come out the other side. And it didn't mean my business was doomed. It didn't mean I should give up. It just meant I was going through a cycle. And then in 2021, you know, things shifted a lot for me and I was super busy making money. It was a very financially focused year for me, 2021. I was trying to pivot more into astrology, but I was also really busy with copywriting clients and my Uranus transit was really kicking in. So I understood that that was the cycle. That was a play that I had to you know, lean into that money generation year and that I knew I was also going through some significant changes and that the right moment would come. And then the right moment did present itself and I was able to step into those opportunities to switch gears and move into a more astrology focused business. Then in 2022, you know, I did this complete pivot. I really, really shifted everything, leaned into more of what I wanted to talk about, which is why I'm having this conversation with you right now. And that was all through a Saturn transit, which was really kicking in and demanding a restructure of my business. So I didn't freak out. I didn't throw everything away, but I did do a significant restructure. And knowing that I was going through that cycle gave, helped give me the trust or helped reinforce the trust in myself that I was going to figure it out and that the right opportunities were coming at the right times. So that's one way I, I believe astrology can help you build self-trust in your business. In addition to understanding and honoring those times of rest, recalibration of restructure that come through these astrology cycles, you also need to have trust or self-trust in your ability to attract clients and sell your products or services, right? And this seems like a no-brainer because to be in business, you need to be able to sell. But a lot of people get the wobbles around their ability to sell. And one of the ways this can be even more challenging is when you haven't learned how to effectively communicate what it is that you do. Because when you don't know who you are, who you serve, what it is that you really want to be doing, it's difficult to trust that you're going to be able to sell it. So astrology can help you build that kind of self-trust because when you know When you get to know your key gifts, your core strengths, the messaging is a whole lot easier. 
right? Knowing yourself on a deeper level is a key part of building self-trust and self-confidence because in that process of knowing yourself, you learn to master yourself, your patterns, your tendencies, your specific ways of being. And messaging is key to building that trust in knowing you'll always be able to sell. That's kind of astrology and messaging combined because the astrology helps you get to the right message. And then that builds your self-trust, your self-confidence in putting yourself out there in the way that you really want to be seen and the way that you really want to help or serve or contribute or guide people. And finally, the third way I think astrology really helps you build that self-trust is trusting that you're on the right track. Now, this is one of the places I see entrepreneurs losing themselves quite often because the first thing you do when you feel like you're getting off track is to create something new, right? I don't know how many Zoom calls I've sat through with clients who say, this isn't working, so I'm going to create this and I'm going to create that and I'm going to create the other thing. And especially with the, you know, manifesting generator or manifester clients, they love to create. And that's awesome. I'm all for creating stuff. But I would also say, hold it. Before you go creating anything, check in with yourself via your chart, via your birth chart, and make sure what you're doing is in line with what you really value, desire, and enjoy. Because it's not always best to completely recreate or create something from scratch. Sometimes you just need a simple tweak to get you feeling back in alignment with what you're doing. Maybe it feels out of whack because you're overgiving on your one-on-one time or you're not protecting your energetic boundaries. Maybe you've started to talk about or teach something that's not what lights you up and you should just cut that part from your program, not throw the whole thing out. And checking in with your birth chart can help you so much with this. It helps you really get back into that you know, alignment level of self-trust. Yes, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing because it gives you some sort of permission to let go of the things that drain you or at least to outsource them and then get back feeling into what you really love doing again. So this is the beauty of astrology. And I know I've said this before, but I don't think it can be repeated enough. Knowing yourself, knowing your core gifts, talents, desires, and challenges can shift so much for you. And it can shift in a really short space of time. You can go from feeling very much in doubt to feeling very sure of yourself and really leading into that self-trust again. And that's how I use astrology to build self-trust is I, I look back at my chart and I remind myself all the time, yes, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Yes, this is the cycle that I'm in. Yes, this is okay. And I've got this and that's what I want for you as well. So I hope this has been helpful. Let me know how you're going at the start of this year. I will be back very soon to talk about money, to talk about getting in alignment with your career planet, to talk about all sorts of cool, exciting things this year. If you have anything else you would like me to talk about or anyone you specifically want me to interview or if you want to be interviewed, drop me an email or send me a DM on Instagram. I would love to hear from you. Thanks so much. Thanks for joining me on the Cosmic Business Breakthrough. If you'd like to learn more about what I do, head to sophiapalace.com or follow me at sophiapalace over on Instagram. If you're listening on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, I'd love for you to take a moment and review the show if you found it helpful and share it with a few friends. Thanks again, and I'll speak to you next time.